ya laibuka na kugonga vicha vya habari na moja kwa moja tukingonanga tuanze na hili ambapo kamati ya maridhiano sasa imemwandikia barua spika wa bunge la kitaifa Moses Wetangula kutaka kutambulika kwa kamati hiyo baada ya wanachama hao kukubaliana kuhusu mkondo wa mazungumzo kamati hiyo itaanza shughuli zake wiki ijayo kwa kuangazia masuala ya dharura kwanza yakiwemo ya uteuzi wa tume mpya uchaguzi na mipaka will be both parliamentary and extra parliamentary in the parliamentary we mean that we will have the recognition of parliament recognizing this committee as existing and doing its work as part and parcel of parliament while extra parliamentary means that we will have uh, people who are not parliamentarians uh, coming in also into the talks and and discussing with us the issues in the contention and also assisting us in the work we are doing and for that we must point out from the outset that we have incorporated two joint secretaries the advocates dr muthomi viankolu is here and the paul mwangi who are not parliamentarians but these are members of the committee by virtue of co-option we also agreed that we will do a letter to the two speakers of the two houses of parliament the speaker to the national assembly and the speaker to the senate in which we will seek first and foremost uh, we will confirm the existence of the committee as set up by the two principles number two we will seek recognition from parliament and number three we will seek from parliament support in terms of finances and uh, facilitation the ibc question is a common uh, issue uh, to both teams. We have discussed and we have agreed that it's an, one of utmost uh, importance and we'll prioritize it. And therefore we have agreed that when we resume our next sitting, that's the next item we are going to deal with so that uh, it's off the table. Uh, to facilitate us and uh, enable quick discussion on it, we have constituted a subcommittee of six members. On the Azimio side, uh, Senator Sifuna uh, is uh, a member, Senator Wambua and Honorable Emilio Diambo, and they are convened by Senator Sifuna. On the Kenya Kwanza side, uh, Senator Halwale, Senator Sigei, and Honorable Mutuse are members, and they are convened by Senator Sigei. We expect that by the time we come back, they'll have concretized uh, thoughts around that. And we take the early opportunity that uh, on that selection, that, that idea of reconstitution of the IBC, Anyone with any idea is welcome to share it with us through our joint secretaries so that we can factor in in our discussion. Na hatimaye serikali imezindua rasmi wavuti wa kituo cha uteuzi wa vyo vikuu na vya kati ili kutoa nafasi kwa wanafunzi waliofanya mtihani wa kesi ya simu kajana kuchagua vyo watakavyotaka kujiunga navyo. Waziri wa elimu wa Zekel Machogu amesema uteuzi huo utaendelea kwa muda wa miezi miwili hadi mwezi Agosti kabla ya wanafunzi kujiunga na vyo vikuu baadaye mwezi Septemba. Wanafunzi wote waliopata alama ya cha plus na zaidi watapata vile vile nafasi katika vyo vikuu vya umma na vya binafsi huku wanafunzi wengine wasiopungua laki nne waliopata alama ya cha plain kuweza kurudi, kurudi chini na kuweza kupata nafasi katika vyo vya kati vyo anwai na vyo vya kiufundi The President Service received programs and capacities from 39 public universities and 33 private universities, 3 secondary teacher training colleges, and 205 public TVET colleges for the 2023-2024 President Circle. These institutions offer programs ranging from degree, diploma, a craft certificate as well as arts and courses depending on a student's choice and performance performance at KCSC. I will therefore to inform all the 173,127 candidates who attain the minimum university entry grade of C plus in the 2022 KCSC examination that they qualify to be placed to degree programs. Those with the C-Brain and the Bureau 
will be absorbed in Tibet institutions across the country. And uh, one of the key highlights of this new model is that the government adhered the process of placement of our students to higher running institutions from funding with effect from uh, this uh, year placement circle. And the new system, as directed by His Excellency the President, the Kenya Universities and the Colleges Central Placement Service will place all qualified candidates to various programs based on merit and the choice to universities, colleges, national polytechnic, polytechnics, and other Tibet institutions. The Kenya Universities and the Colleges Central Placement Service will publish the total fees details of all programs in universities, colleges, national polytechnic, polytechnics, and other Tibet institutions to guide the students in making choices based on the income levels of the households, programs of study, and the institution they wish to join. Na tukigura masala ya elimu tujikite kwenye masala ya afya ambapo waziri wa afya Susan Nahumecha amekiri kuwa kulikuwa na dosari katika zabuni iliyotangazwa na Kemsa ya kusambaza vyandarua vya kuzuia maambukizi ya malaria. Kulingana na waziri wa afya zabuni hiyo sasa itatekelezwa na Global Fund yenyewe ambao walikuwa wafadhili wa shilingi bilioni 3.7 za zabuni hiyo ya vyandarua. Aidha na Humicha amedokeza kuwa alikuwa na nia ya kutekeleza mabadiliko katika shirika hilo ila juhudi zake zilipatwa na changamoto. Hii ni kabla ya sakata hii kujitokeza. is because we had an internal investigation and we had names behind what we found out. So internally we have made the suspension based on their involvement at that level. You may all be aware that uh, after that tender was advertised, just before it closed, there was also another newspaper uh, advert saying that it has been extended. And uh, some, uh, I think a few days later, there was also another advert saying that it had been terminated and the process was going to start all afresh and it's at that point that i noticed that there was a problem i asked the ceo to let me know why we are behaving in the papers as though we don't know what we are doing you cannot be advertising today the following day you're extending and the day after you are terminating and the following day you are saying okay we revert back to where we began so at that point is when i noticed there was a problem so the most important thing is to ensure that we get the mosquito nets in good time of good quality Therefore, I am in agreement with the Global Fund that the nets shall be procured through wambo.org uh, so that we shorten the time and ensure then there are no gaps in uh, supply. However, we are improving our system. The nets procurement, we shall do it ourselves. Na Rais William Ruto amelitaja bara la Afrika kuwa suluhu ya athari ya mabadiliko ya tabia nchi kwa kupunguza viwango vya kaboni chafu duniani. Akizungumza nchini Afrika Kusini wakati wa kongamano la tatu kuhusu mabadiliko ya tabia nchi, Rais Ruto amekariri kuwa bara la Afrika lina hifadhi tele za kawisafi ambazo zinapaswa kutumika vyema. Ruto amesisitiza kuwa swala la bara hili la Afrika kulalamika kuwa limetengwa limepitwa na wakati na kutaka ka bunge la Afrika kuwa na msimamo mmoja katika kutetea maslahi ya bara hili. Imefika wakati kwa sababu tuko na mchango wa kimawazo kutoka bara letu la Afrika. Tuko na rasilimali nyingi ya green energy. Tuko na hydro, tuko na geothermal, tuko na wind, tuko na solar energy ambayo inaweza kuchangia katika safari ya green revolution green manufacturing green industrialization na tunasema kwa sababu tuko na rasilimali katika bara letu la Afrika tunataka tuwe na mjadala na wale ndugu zetu wa kutoka bara zingine waje na rasilimali zao wako na teknolojia wako na fedha sisi tuko na rasilimali ni vipi tunaweza kuwa na gongamano ambayo itatuwezesha tuwe na outcome ile inaitwa win win badala ya kulaumiana tutafute suluhu ya jambo hili 
na kwengineko wakazi wa eneo la Budalange kaunti ya Busia wanakadiria hasara baada ya ziwa la Kanyaboli kuvunja kingo zake na kusababisha mafuriko makubwa eneo hilo mafuriko hayo yameharibu mazao kwenye zaidi ya ekari nane ya shamba huku makazi na shule zikiathirika Gavana wa Busia Polo Tuoma akiendamana na kaimu kamishna wa kaunti hiyo Kipchumba Ruto walizuru eneo hilo kutathmini uharibifu na kutafuta suluhu the lake had reached from the technical explanation I'm <laughs> When water was not passing through that uh, outlet because it brought some residues and uh, blocked uh, uh, the culvert. So the lake got a lot of water and was filled to the point. That's why it got broken behind us here. We even informed the government in charge the county government before it was worse, but they took no notice. So a week ago, it got burst, and the whole water from Lake Kanyaboli is now entering the swamp you can see. So we are going to go appeal to, to the NYS, uh, the military through the regional commissioner, to bring the engineers here, because it's an engineering nightmare, and it must be remedied as quickly as possible, because the downstream settlements, crops, animals are affected, upstream uh, the lake is receding and this is one of the most important and fundamental ecosystem lake agro has responded uh, by bringing in machinery we've had to hire trucks because we don't have sufficient equipment ourselves and i'm very encouraged to hear that uh, some uh, support may be forthcoming from uh, from other other areas um, the technology the, the the system that we're using to repair this dike is exactly the same as we used in 2021 when those major uh, breakages in the Yala dike occurred. There's a disaster that has come up. Uh, the Oxbow Lake here uh, overflowed its banks and some of the dikes that had been put there earlier. And you can see it has cut there and created another very rapid river flow. And those who know how Oxbow lakes are formed, you understand when river changes course. So because of this problem that you are seeing, you can look at how that water, very big, and even the way the levels have gone down, it has created an environmental and human disaster downstream, both in Budalangi, where nearly two wards have been submerged underwater. Schools, uh, farms, they are all underwater, and we were there yesterday. And we thought we were trying to mitigate that side, only to realize that there is a disaster that has happened here. Na Rais William Ruto anaendeleza harakati za kuboresha chama cha UDA. Chama hicho hii leo kimepokea baadhi ya viongozi wa jamii ya Kihindi akiwemo aliyekuwa mbunge wa Keses Mishra Kiprop ambao wameafikia kujiunga na UDA wakisema ni kwa madhumuni ya kushirikiana na serikali. I confess today the mistake the blunder I did I became more arrogant and more egoistic. And I thought I'm above of everybody. And I chose the wrong, true wrong decision, wrong direction, wrong path, wrong party, and wrong people. But today, God sent me where I belong with a lot of forgiveness and blessings. For the first time in history, a party that has made us feel at home has made us collectively come to the headquarters and it is the first time that we genuinely feel at home. Thank you, Your Excellency. We've been sitting on the fence for too long, but we're seeing with President Ruto, he's opening the door for us to get involved in governance. So we are reaching out to you and to him to say the Asian community wants to be involved in governance of this country. You have to allow us to have freedom and space to be part of the decision making in this country. His Excellency President William Samoy Ruto is the champion of this course. Certainly, 
It is our delight to partner with you on this shared dream that is well etched in our grand manifesto, The Plan. I am certain it was not difficult for you to choose whom to associate with politically, especially since our opponents are a direct opposite of our aspirations. Na kando na hayo wawakilishi wadi wote kote nchini wametishia kususia kazi iwapo serikali haitatimiza matakwa yao waliowagana wakati wa kongamano lililofanyika katika jumba la KICC mapema mwezi huu viongozi hao wamesema makataa ya siku 14 yamekamilika kama walivyokubaliana na serikali na sasa hawataweza kuendelea na majukumu yao ikiwa serikali haitatimiza ahadi walioafikiana miongoni mwa maswala wanayotaka yaangaziwe ni pamoja na kutathminiwa upya kwa mishahara yao na kuwekwa kwenye sheria ya hazina ya fedha za wadi a 14 days period to allow engagement with the relevant organs of devolution failure to which we were to adjourn the plenary sitting at the county assemblies the 14 day notice ends today we therefore have no other option but to call upon all our members to down their tools across the 47 county assemblies in the next plenary sitting day tasoma resolutions ambazo tulipitisha kwa mkutano ambao tulikuwa nao Tumejaribu kuhakikisha ya kwamba mambo yametekelezwa lakini mambo hayasongi. Na diposa hivi leo tumeona ni muhali na ni muhimu kufuatana na kauli ambayo ilisemwa na wa, 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 wa na MCS tumeendelea ya kwamba assemblies zifunge paka wakati ambapo matakwa ya MCS yatafuatwa. This is not about us. It is not about the members of county assemblies. <coughs> It's about devolution. And if you don't properly facilitate devolution, then what you'll find is that uh, devolution fails. If you decide to give members of county assemblies uh, no facilitation to run their wards, then devolution will fail. We are not urging for more money or putting ex another expenses uh, to the national to the national government or the to the republic. But we are urging. We already have our share in the development budget of the counties. That budget we shall be given our share as assemblies. Na wakati huo huo matayarisho ya siku kuu ya madaraka yanaendelea kushika kasi katika kaunti ya Embu huku mawaziri 25 kutoka barani Afrika wakitarajiwa kuhudhuria sherehe hizo. Akizungumza wakati alipoongoza viongozi kukagua utayari wa uwanja wa Moi utakaokuwa mwenyeji wa viongozi wa kitaifa na kimataifa katibu wa kudumu katika wizara ya masuala ya usalama wa ndani Raymond Omolo alitaja kuwa zaidi ya shilingi milioni tatu zilitumika ama zitatumika kuharamia ukarabati wa uwanja huo. Aidha Omolo ametangaza kuwepo kwa maonyesho ya biashara yatakayofunguliwa rasmi na Rais William Ruto tarehe 26 mwezi Mei na kukamilika tarehe lathini. Kwa upande wake gavana wa kaunti hiyo Cecil Mbarire amesema kaunti ya Embu iko tayari kuwapokea wageni. We came to do an inspection on the progress of works towards the Madaraka Day celebration but also to hold a meeting of the National Celebration Steering Committee. Now in our assessment of the progress of works we are on course and ready to host the 60th Madaraka Day celebration on the 1st of June. Whatever works are outstanding, are more decorative and we are all agreed that this will be completed by the 20th of this month. Embu County is ready to host the Madaraka Day on 1st of June 2023. We have everything in place and the, most of the projects are really either complete or nearing completion. Uh, we are happy that uh, because of being given this uh, great uh, opportunity by His Excellency the President, we have been able to get major infrastructure development happening, especially within Embu uh, municipality. In particular, we now have a really state-of-the-art stadium, Moy Stadium, that is way, way uh, better than what we had before. You cannot even compare. Uh, we, we also have uh, 
the regional commissioners residents and the county commissioners resident deputy county commissioners all those have been refurbished almost built afresh and uh, we can now pride of us ourselves of having uh, a regional commissioners residents that can host uh, the person of the president of the republic of kenya and other dignitaries na baada ya ulimwengu kuadhimisha siku ya punda mapema mwezi huu wito umetolewa kote nchini kwa jamii kuhakikisha punda wanatunzwa ipasavyo kulingana na washikadao kwenye sekta ya kutunza wanyama zaidi ya punda laki sita wamechinjwa na nyama kuuzwa kwa umma kati ya mwaka 2009 hadi mwaka 2023 jambo ambalo ila kusikitisha mno ikizingatiwa kuwa manufaa yanayotokana na mnyama huyu ni makubwa mno aidha wanachama ama wananchi wameonywa vile vile dhidi ya nyama ya punda ambayo huenda inauzwa sokoni bila ufahamu wao We are not relenting in the fight against this illegal trend. We will do all what it takes to make sure we stop it. My warning to them is that they either relocate to other counties where there is probably they think people are not alert or stop this business completely. Placed measures uh, to ensure that uh, this has to end. And at the same time to urge our community that we must, on this one, we must partner with the community so that we move forward. Probably as a country we must really think again and ask ourselves where is this headed? Because hundreds, possibly thousands of donkeys have been killed here in the whole of this area. These donkeys, if you trace where they are coming from, Narok, Kajiando, Bomet, all these areas. Na kulizuka kizaza jumanne kati ya maafisa wa polisi na wenyeji wa eneo la Kiumbi katika kaunti ya Machakos kufuatia mzozo wa umiliki wa kipande cha ardhi cha ekari tatu. Kwenye tukio hilo mtu mmoja aliripotiwa kudungwa mshale na walinzi wa shamba hilo na kusababisha shughuli za kawaida za usafiri katika barabara ya Nairobi kuelekea Mombasa kutatizika kwa muda na wenyeji waliokuwa na ghadhabu huku wakiwasha magurudumu kwenye barabara maafisa usalama vile vile wakilazimika kutumia vitoa machozi ili kuwatawanya akizungumza alipofika eneo la mzozo gavana wa Machakos wa Vinyandeti alieleza kuwa serikali ya kaunti ya Machakos hai koma kuendeleza vita dhidi ya wanyakuzi wa ardhi ya umma katika kaunti hiyo na itahakikisha kuwa ardhi zote zilizonyakuliwa zimerudishwa kwa wamiliki halisi <tos>
mtazama aje kufikia hapo napata fursa ya kupata pumziko fupi nitakuwa narejea na mengi ndani ya muda usiokuwa mrefu sibandoki ulipo